Hey guys, this is Red Frost. Welcome back once again to Prey. Now, in the last episode, I drank a lot of water! So now, we're gonna go to the lobby of Talos 1. Here we go. I've looted everything I can loot. I've explored everything I can explore. At least as far as I know. So, I'm sure I got everything. Pretty sure. Not 100% sure. I'd say about a 93% sure. Because again, had I chosen hacking, I probably would have been able to find more things. But I didn't choose hacking. I will next time, though. Because I think it's going to be really useful. Uh, but here I thought I could have fixed a machine that could have given me stuff. But no, I need parts. Who knew? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go! New items have been added to the unique container in your office. Neuromod! Oh! You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Everything you know is about to change. Right, so... Again, drawing comparisons with... Uh, seriously, nothing? Uh, oh, bullets. That's always useful. Suit repair kit. I'm at 78, so I think I'm fine. And a med kit. Always useful. And from the looks of it, this guy has a splitting headache. Eesh. Is that the moon? Yup. Very, very, um... You know, I see furniture down there. I don't... Oh! It's saving. What happened? Nothing? Well, at least I know there's more fountains, so if I need... Good morning, Talos. Oh. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Whoa! What the hell happened over there? You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. <laughs> Gee, I do. I really do. Exploration. Talos 1 is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby and other areas you've discovered as often as you like to complete optional objectives. That's good to know! Meanwhile, map! I have no idea how to get to my office. That's a shuttle bay. I'm supposed to go... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Well, that was... Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go over there. Alright. How do I get over there? I can't go into human resources because I'm not strong enough! Wait, what the... What the hell was that? Oh, that was weird. I gotta equip this in just so I don't spend any, uh... Actually, I should probably use this thing. Oh, but it only has so much charge. Hey, what's this? <gasps> Apple! Uh, I'll take it. I won't eat it. What's this? Duck beer. Nah. Anything else? Are you a real? Apparently so. See, whenever I see two things like this, I don't, I don't trust them now. Although it is the lo oh hello. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Banana peel. I don't want that. Transstar exhibit. Oh, this sounds interesting. Hello. Oh shit. Shit shit. No, 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 no. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Where'd it go? Oh shit, it's still there. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. Is there anything else here that's of use? Is he gonna go out that door? I think he is. 
Wait, is there something in here? Crumpled paper. No thanks. Oh shit, he's still there. Oh, he's coming back. I don't know if this is gonna work on that thing since it's so big. Oh jeez. Oh god, it's coming this way. Oh, what the shit was that? What the? Oh my god, he can teleport. What? Okay, I'm officially spooked. Uh, did he leave? Yeah, that was him. Used cigar. Why would I... Okay, I got a used cigar. So apparently that's a thing. Explosive canister. Oh, that would have been useful. Oh, but wait, I don't have anything to ignite it with. Well, except maybe the cigar. But we'll see. But I did see this, so free upgrade. <laughs> I said free upgrade. Oh, wait, the glass is broken. Never mind. <laughs> Give me. Knife. Now, I'm going to hold on to that. Can I uh, use a... Nope. No, I can't. The psychoscope. Okay, now I want that. I don't know what it is, but it sounds neat. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. I should probably see these in order, shouldn't I? Yup. So let me head on. Oh, is this a station? Wow. I... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's neat. But it has that sort of slight gothic feel to it that makes this a uh, little bit more creepy than it probably should be. Can I... Nope. Useless. I already have those. Axiom Program 1963-1963. Interesting. Well, meanwhile, I'm taking this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it at some point. Is there anything in the gas? Uh, in the gas. Lemon peel, crumpled paper, no thanks. Okay, so let's see. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. Neat. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. Don't you just love alternate history? 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. Interesting. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. And this is where we get here, and the facility is open, and all this good stuff. 1980, 1960, 1960. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Okay, that freaking scared me. Is there anything else here I can look at? Oh, hello! Hello, Mr. President! <laughs> My, you got old. Alright, is there anything else I can loot? Anything, anything at all? What's this? Oh, that's just speakers. Alright, so somebody came in here and broke stuff. I don't know if it was the Typhons or what, but, uh, yeah. Wait, what was that? Original Muromod prototype. Well, I don't know what I might have looked. Oh, hello! Oh shit, that looks painful. Eek. Okay. Oh, is there anything over. Hello. Survivor's account of the evacuation, day one. Day one, I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Aliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some coffee butts. Uh, some cafe butts near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. 
Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people excuse me, stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Elisa. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I am certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched it to turn into glitter without a sound, it was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. What the hell happened? Alright. Fucking mimics! Come on, come on, get, come on, get some! Get some, get some! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh shit, there's another one. Uh, gimme? Uh, gimme? No, no, you don't give me. Gimme? Uh, gimme? Gimme? Give, gimme. Give and that's about it. There's another one over there! I know you're around here somewhere. Okay, but first... Oh! Yes, I know, guys. I know, I know. Look, let me get to 70 at least, alright? So I don't, you know, spontaneously die. In fact, let's quick save real quick. I know you're around here. Show yourself! Bitch! Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Oh, it's comfy. I don't know what that is. Banana peel? What's with... Is that something you eat? Why would I- Oh, parts. Parts. HA! Okay. Well, I can carry this. Alright. Well, he's definitely not there. Maybe he's over here? Hmm. Un Udon noodles. Um... You know what? Screw it. Just so you don't you guys don't see me drink a lot of water again, I'm going to eat this. Okay. I don't know what this is. It looks like a VCR thing, except it's definitely not. Where'd the thing go? Oh, well, that whatever this thing is, it's definitely heavy. And not big enough to break that, so that's a problem. Well, the noodles only gave me Well, you know what? I'm just going to 80. See, I don't even know where to go, what to trust, what to do. It has to be around here somewhere. Hello. It's a turret. Is it a friendly turret? Uh, Biohazard waste. Yeah, that's something I definitely want to carry around. <laughs> Are you a friendly turret? Huh? I think you are. Baseball glove. What's with baseball gloves? Hello. <gasps> Carrie? Wait, 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 wait. What? Clicks and beeps. Wait, I. Oh, dear lord! Yes, sirree! Now nah, I got. Now I got me a bodyguard! Oh! I got two bodyguards! Good morning, Talos. Oh. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Whoa, whoa! What, what the? Uh, deploy! Wait, wait, no, no, no. How do I deploy? Oh. Nice! Okay, proximity well, first of all, sensor proximity sensors. Typhon organ, okay. Sunburst banana pudding. Psy hypo. Uh, should I eat that? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, biohazard waste. Okay, so that's the thing. 
Just give me that. Is there anything in here that's useful? That's useful? Big bag of candy! Oh, big band candy! Give me. Oh! Trauma Center Access Card! Nice! Uh, is there anything else? That's a weird looking fan. Uh, I don't know what that is. February 23rd. Okay, so that's the thing. Is this a oh, hello! Give me. Now, keeping in mind I'm grabbing a whole bunch of crap. Oh, jeez. I'm guessing I use these things for parts. Thing is, I need to find some sort of recycler. I'm running out of space now. Okay, buddy. You? You're coming with me. Okay, I don't know what's in here. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, no! No! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, no! I broke it! Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't mean to! I pressed the wrong button! No! Oh, how do I fix this? Oh, I need repair too. God damn it. Well, I, at least I know there's another one somewhere that I can use. I don't know what's up with this. Oh, sh Of course you'd hide like a... Come and get me. Come on. God. God damn it. Well, 9mm bullets, that's always useful. And of course, you had to be hidden as an actual usable object. That's just great. Uh, did I loot you? Wait, wait, what? Yeah. Useless. Useless! All these things, useless! I want to get the, the other one now. Oh, hello. 70. Uh, I'm so sorry I broke you! I'm gonna have to grab your friend. Uh, just in case. Let's see. Cafe Karsk? Yeah, sure, why not. And yeah, let's eat that too. Okay, good. Uh, lemon peel. Yeah, sure, why not. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh, cigars. Okay, nothing here? Okay, good. Come with me. Oh, well, this is a happy place. Is this the... Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going that way, but before I do... Oh, dear lord. Restrooms? Why did it save? Okay, let's deploy this thing if something comes. Please don't scare me like that. Oh, wait, this is the. No, this is the ladies' room. I wanna go this way. Okay, you give me. And, uh. Yeah. Is there anything of use in here? Somewhere? Something? Somewhat? Caution! Wet floor! Okay, I think we're fine. More banana peels again. I don't know what the, what's up with that. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, mimics, mimics. Any mimics in here? Any? Oh no 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 no! Open open. Uh, anything of? Oh, that's actually that's kind of neat. You just use the pedal. I hadn't noticed that for some reason. I can rip something. I'm guessing that's the turret. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's go up to 95 maybe? Lemon peel, banana peel. So many peels. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Okay, good. How with me, my my little bastion? <laughs> Is there anything over here? Nope. Alright. So far, so good, I guess. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go this way. Wait a minute. How? Submitted. IT department. I have no idea. How do I examine? Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
I have no idea how to get in there. I'm supposed to go that way? Ah, oh, darn it. Human resources? Can I... Oh, oh no, this is where... Oh. Okay, come with me. Uh, maybe go up a floor? Maybe there's a thing I can go into? Maintenance access only. Okay, what thing did I get earlier? Items, suit chipsets, scope chipsets. Oh. Okay, that's neat. Well, I can't... There, there's the neuro mod, but I don't... Wait a minute, didn't it say repair 2? What do I get... How do I get repair 2? Security? What's this? Oh, one thing in security I can... I can get. Wait, which one's repair 2? Dismantle. Simplification. Repair 2. I need 4! Ah, oh, come on! Fine. Sales division. Also closed. Okay, so I'm definitely in the wrong side, so... Wait, I can't run with this thing? I don't want to throw it in case I break it. But I seriously don't want to go anywhere without this. I'm just hoping it doesn't run out of bullets or something. That'd be a shame. A real shame. So that's to the shuttle bay. I don't want to go that... Oh, crap. You know what? I didn't notice something. I looked at this guy, right? Not really, but I don't want that glove. Oh. Just don't scare me. I wonder if there's a way I can... Hello. Character sheet? <gasps> Captain Staff Fellow! <laughs> Strength 17, total 16. Actually, this is very similar to... Uh... Very similar to, uh, to Dungeons and Dragons. In fact, the character itself reminds me of an old friend of mine. What was it? I believe he was a human warrior. His name was Canis the Black. Yeah, we, we, we called him Canis the Black Chicken because he kept running away. <clears throat> yeah, so that, that was, uh, interesting. Oh, that's him right there, Eli Elias Black. Hello, what's this? I don't know what it is, but I want to. Can I reach it? <laughs> no, I can't. How do I get in there? Uh, burnt circuit board. I definitely need that. Spare parts. Yes, please. All right. So that's a thing. You just... Okay. So that's just a metal detector thing. Okay. All right. Well, I will say this. I'm having fun exploring. So that's a thing. There's a security office here. Do I want to go in here? Wait, security means weapons. Oh. Of course it's locked. But wait a minute, I never finished checking. How do I know what special cards and items I got? How do I know this? Out of sort. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Thank you. Yeah, that's definitely useful. Status. No active status. Data. Um, oh. Oh! I actually save all the things I find. Keys. <coughs> ah. This is really interesting. Plants. Research. States. Right. Does it include total deaths? Nope. All the emails. Why does this have a thing? Notes. Alright. Objectives. I know I have to get to the thing. Alright. Oh, I need to do that too. Can I actually get... It doesn't even show me. I can't get anywhere. I don't have any passcodes. I don't have any keys. I don't have any anything. For a second I thought this was important. Wait. What the... What's with the banana pee? Oh! Okay. It's showing me. I can take all the junk, put it in a recycler. And then I got stuff. Nice. If I could just find one, I'd be able to do something about that. Is this a thing? I don't think so. Alright, so I'm supposed to go... Come on, activate! Well, that was slow. Thank you. And you have biohazard waste, which I now realize is an actual material that I can... Can I break this? How am I supposed to get to the... If this is broken? 
Is there any way for me to get through? Well, whatever the case. Come on, come on. Let's go up to the next floor. And I... I don't like the sound of that. There's a thing right there. I'm gonna put you right here, just so... Just so you can defend me in case of something. Uh, and actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Trauma center. Okay, so now I can go there now. I forget what the first one I got was. Okay, do. Please contact engineering. Right. Well, it is slightly hurt, but not that hurt. Okay. Let's look at this thing then. Volunteer attitude. New key code volunteer quarters. Oh, yeah, here we go. Miss Goodwin, I'm gonna need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out uh, to stretch his legs. Oh, like number Eleven. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in. Uh, we make an oh, jeez. The code to your office is zero four five one. Yeah, thank you for that. Anyway, uh, when you get up here, the key code is thus. Not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been waiting me to punch that in, so change it. Dr. Cole Whatever. Would like to I can't read. Meeting Gustav of from Bianca Goodwin to Dr. Dayo Igwe. Dr. Igwe, I real Actually, can I go to the first one? Yeah, Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates to Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it, uh, is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the new mapping procedure, if possible. Dr. Iwe, I relay your previous request, and we'll see what we can do. There are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know if we have any more details. Sincerely, Bianca, tells one volunteer and guest liaison. Okay. Lightner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up quiet and polite. He shook Lightner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Lightner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Okay, I wonder what this guy has. Anyway, you're coming with me. What happened here? No, th this is this is mimic territory. I can ah, uh, I can feel it. Is this the same one I? Oh no, this is a new one. Mm, the brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological pro processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for an eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Meanwhile, one email. Test subject. Sylvian, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do... Wait, this is... Wait, this is for me? This is for me to the doctor? Holy crap! Sylvian, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I sign off for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. So wait, was I actually aware of this? And there's a note. Please move the remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. So he has an office in the Neuromod Division, or whatever. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental and irre irredu irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? We shall never know. Wait, was there a different icon? No, it's just a hand. Paris! France! I broke you. Okay, come with me. 
Yeah, I know there's a thing. Oh, you know. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Shotgun shells? Oh, right, I'm supposed to get a shotgun, aren't I? I just don't know where. Banana. Should I eat it? Nah, I'll just take it. Password. No password found. Do I know the password? Oh my god, hot boss. <laughs> Jason Chang. One email. Jason main wait, Jason main screwed the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in Sims Labs a while if you need anything. Help yourself. Is there anything else of note? Proximity sensor reset. Lots of headphones around here, I notice. Hmm, for a second I thought I saw something. Guess not. Uh, you have more health than he does, so... Maybe I should take you instead. Morgan Yu. This is my office. Uh, examine. Uh, 0451. Why does that number seem familiar somehow? Just in case. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Yeah, but there's so- Oh, recycler! Place items in bin. Uh, can I, uh, I'll just... Yeah, transfer junk. Oh, nice! Okay, so, now that I've done that... What happens? Okay, here we go. And then I recycle. So many materials! Wait, are they actually stored in my inventory? Yes, they are. Interesting. Uh, can I take all this crap? Morgan used Sweet, a new card has been acquired. Uh, transfer all the junk. Yeah. Recycle that shit. Nice! Okay, so it's like... Freight wires and whatever crap. I can't use those. Wait, what's, what's this thing? Operator dispenser. I have no idea what that is. I'm taking that! Okay, so transfer junk again. Turn that on, let that make stuff. Meanwhile, I need to figure out what this thing is. Control panel. I don't... Fabrication plan. Wrench. Hephaestus heavy twist and loop handle industrial wrench. That's what I have. Infinite license. Place crafting ingredients in the slot. So this is how crafting works. Interesting. So I currently have one in my inventory, so that's a thing. So this is how I craft stuff, apparently. Okay, well, give me give me these. And let's see what else I can find. So now I want to go back and get the banana peels! Oh, hello! Is this the closet? Yes, it- oh my god. So we got ourselves a neuromod, some medkits, recycler shielding. Shotgun shells fabrication plan. <gasps> Wait, what the? Oh, it shows me how. Wait, what? Wait, can I? How do I? Oh, install chipset. Oh dear lord! Recycler charges? Actuators. Nominal tilt handling error. Please contact engineering. Shotgun! Okay, can I make some shotgun shells? Please? How do I make the shotgun shells? A case of high velocity 12 gauge shotgun shells. Crafting ingredients. Wait, what was that? Held in inventory. I have nine shells. I could probably do with some more. Place crafting materials in slots. There we go. 
Uh, Ian. Uh, yeah, let's create. Look at that! It made 12! I'll take that! I, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I, I definitely have enough to make more if I ever need any. But for now, this will have to do. Also, apple. Hmm. And there's my nice little family again. Hey, what's this? <gasps> Safe! Glue can ammo fabrication! Weapon upgrade kit! Wait, what do I use that for? On what? Oh, that's what I saw in the security office! That's what those are! Weapon kits! Interesting! I like to upgrade your weapons. To use a weapon kit, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory. Press R. Okay. I'll figure out later what I can actually modify. Uh, what's this? Some more Neuromods! Come on! This is so great! Too far, too fast! In Kennedy's second term... <laughs> oh my god, that would have been awesome. The space race reached a new uh, it reached new heights, and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon landings heralded the coming of an accelerated, energetic space program, both with the halls of government and in the public's eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seemed to be reaching out to space together. And the rest is history. Alternate history, that is! <laughs> Oh! Oh, you know what? I might as well make this. Yeah, I have plenty of materials. Well, I, I did. 84, I'll take it. Alright. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is neat. Okay. I think I've got... What the hell is this? High voltage. Okay. No. To Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Period College. Scanning target. No type of hmm. material. Skill of Science, Doctor of Science! <laughs> yeah, that works. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and finish. Oh, hello, teleconferencing. So many access cards, and I have no idea where these places are. Okay, I think I've explored everything I can explore from here, so let me finish this episode viewing the video that uh, this guy wanted me to see. Good morning, Morgan. I got a plan you requested. It's in your safe, Jason. Okay, I found it already. So, let me go watch the video and then take it from there for the next episode. Uh, actually, let's look at the emails first. You made it, EOM. Okay. I still don't know what happened. I put it behind me. But there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today. You looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me. And we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Who's Michaela? And considering what I've recently learned that has been happening to my character, I'm guessing this is actually a thing. Like, he actually did not remember who this person was. Did not disturb. As requested, uh, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in crew quarters and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they can, uh, if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Jason Chang. All right, well, enough of that. Let's look at the video thing that he wanted me to see. And we'll end the episode here. So, hello Morgan. The LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Well, I am alone as far as I can tell, so... Unless you're a mimic, you stupid chair. Okay, let's go. Looking glass. Yes. Oh, whoop, whoop. Is it over there? Or... Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. Really? It knows what you've forgotten. 
We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? Hmm. You're not going to like what I have to say next. The safe code is 5150. Oh! What the? What is going on? I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but oh. I can't let you listen to that. Not Alex! That, no, I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Alex, what the hell is going on? Okay, I'm not liking this at all. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Well, that's definitely a thing. Right. Okay, so let's leave it to here. And tell me your thoughts. This game has gotten so freaking interesting. And again, it reminds me so much of Bioshock. It's, you could say, shocking. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's impressive. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.